coming up. We visit the painted desert. Julia takes a tumble and Gangsy leaves his mark. Back on the road again. And we're going to Geronimo where apparently there's the world's largest petrified tree. So that's got to be worth seeing, isn't it? Well, it's on the route. We might as well. Yeah, big scary tree. Take exit 280. Oh, here we go. Here's the trading post. I wonder where the big petrified tree is. I wonder if that's it there. So we've just found these are this is like petrified trees and it, it feels like stone it's got a really unusual feeling hasn't it yeah so they clearly are trees because you can see the rings to denote the age i'm sure if this is the biggest the world's biggest piece it hasn't got anything around it <laughs> shop so that is the world's largest petrified tree out there and there's a process that takes place over millions of years and it's it's more about how it's flooded and the minerals get into the wood isn't it Gary? Yeah the, the wood obviously lies on the water for so long that the uh -huh. minerals in the water replace the cells of the wood. Wow and we're actually going to go and see the petrified forest today. Absolutely love these I mean they're not in our price range to be honest but they're so smooth. The, look at the colours of the petrified wood this one's four thousand eight hundred dollars so I won't be getting that today, unfortunately, but they're just beautiful. So we're in Holbrook and you'll see that here is the Wigwam Hotel. You can stay in these little wigwams, sleep in a wigwam. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Oh look, they've got doors. There's a little blue bully van. Great little restaurant on the 66, Colonel Mustard. So we're gonna go in here. I think they do a gyros. So we're right made up. Our food looks amazing, doesn't it? So I've got a nice little gyros. I haven't had gyros pitta for ages, but Gary's got like chilli fries. But I think we're probably going to share it all. So we took exit 311 off the 40, and we're going to go and see the Petrified Forest. It's a national park, so we should be able to get in, no problems, with our America is Beautiful card. Private vehicle is $25, motorbike 20 per person 15 no, hopefully we've got no issue with our wow. card. We've just got out of the motorhome at the very first stop. We've been in the park one second and this is what's greeted us. I don't think we were expecting it to be quite so beautiful, were we, Gary? No, we weren't. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's amazing. It's really interesting as well. Look at all those colours and there's a lake over there as well. We've got the whole park to go through. Do we know how many miles it is? I think it's 34. There's a loop that you can drive the entire way through. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely stunning. And it's, so it's about, what time is it? About three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. It's boiling hot still, isn't it? What do you reckon? Yeah. It's about 20, 30? Probably 25. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Um, it didn't cost us anything, obviously, because of our America is Beautiful Pass. And it is beautiful, look at this. <laughs> so there's the Painted Desert Hotel, which is um, the gift shop and bits and pieces now but it's fantastic and then outside you've got this it's utterly breathtaking isn't it Gary Beautiful. inside the painted desert inn it's absolutely gorgeous here is the old painted desert inn fountain menu and the prices are incredible you're seeing plain ice cream 15 cents cup of milk or a coffee for 10 cents and then they've got um, this wonderful menu here and uh, a full salad was like 35 cents coleslaw 25 cents sandwiches and hot sandwiches were 75 cents gosh it's a good job they're not that pr price anymore i'm already big enough as it is these days how interesting is that so there is an area that they've dedicated for route 66 because we're right on the point where route 66 used to run through and all of the telegraph poles is where it used to run along fantastic stroke of luck as you come out of the petrified forest you get to crystal forest rv campground and uh, you're allowed to park here free 
as long as you're boondocking, so like with absolutely no electricity or anything. We're just about to leave this lovely camp up. Honestly, it's been brilliant, hasn't it? It's been really nice. Nice and quiet as well. It was really quiet last night. I didn't have a great night's sleep, but mainly because I've been drinking. But other than that, I would have had a perfect night's sleep. There was no Jennies on or nothing, was there? No, nothing at all. It was really quiet and uh, just a really nice atmosphere. Thank you very much, Crystal Forest RV Park. It was brilliant. But we're now going to go back through the petrified forest and through the painted desert and see it for the second time. We saw it last night coming down here, but we were really tired, weren't we? Yeah. So we didn't stop off at many spots. We'll show you a little bit of it as we go through, but we're going to just enjoy our day and head towards New Mexico. We just had a right laugh with the guy entering. It was the same guy that was on the other side when we came in yesterday and he recognised us, didn't he? <laughs> so we had a right laugh with him. Really lovely staff at these parks and they work really they work really long hours. They, they do, yeah. And Loads they're just the lovely. As well. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. It's a gorgeous day as well. Petrified wood is just beautiful. There's loads of it here, all different shapes and sizes. Gosh, you can see why it's called the rainbow area. Look at that colors in that rock. All of this, they're all so unique. It's really hard to describe the colors that we're seeing. They're just, magnificent and it's hard to believe that this is wood it's rock solid look at that reminds me of uh, the rock of gibraltar it's almost like a tiny version of it which is uh, one of our favorite places and we're at the crystal forest here aren't we yeah loads of trails here the crystal forest trails um just over a kilometer as well and collecting petrified wood is obviously illegal um they're so beautiful and if everybody collects it, Christ, it'd have none left. It's really gorgeous up here. There's loads of trails, isn't there? Yeah. But just behind us, like everywhere, we're stood in the shade at the moment. It's really boiling. Um, wow. Another fabulous national park. Mm. This is a tree that fell over the water and it's created its own bridge. Um, it's incredible. Is that, have they put concrete underneath it, Gary, or yeah, something, do you think? Yeah, what's left of the tree, so... So we're just about to leave our park up for the night, aren't we? We are in Sanders. In Sanders, yeah, it's not a bad one. It's right outside the library here. I'll show you in a second what it looks like. It's quite noisy. You can still hear that I-40, but I don't think anywhere along this route, if you're doing a bit of boondocking, you're going to get away with a, a quiet not night. Not unless you yeah. travel a good mile away from the road. Yeah, but it was great. And we, we didn't get disturbed at all, did we, last not night? At all. So here's where we parked up. We're right at a row of trees, and this is the car park library is over there the i-40 is over there i'm just going to stop in lupton quickly this is the last town in arizona for us I might getting into lupton 13 feet 11 we've got plenty of room but if you are tall but we just want to come see this red rock here wow look at this rock it's got some painting on it Mexico, New Mexico, true is it? Welcomes you. They got the balloon there for the balloon festival. Yeah. Just about to turn off. We got one of them things in the road. We're turning off into Gallup, and this will take us back onto the 66, we believe. Most patriotic small town in America. Population 21,678. Elevation 6,512. Oh gosh, it's quite high up. So we're going to head to Jerry's, which is in um, Gallup, and we're going to have a bit of Mexican food. We're actually really hungry, and we've just lost an hour, so the clocks have gone forward. Um, but that means that we're a little bit closer in time to the UK time. We're only seven hours behind you guys now, which is a little bit easier to be able to talk to my kids and my family. Jerry's. Let's have a look, see what it's all about. Is it busy? Gosh, it is quite busy. So there's a little bit of a wait for the food in there, so that's all right. Yeah, that's it, it looks really packed, which is always a good sign that it must be really good. So we're excited to be, get called in, but it's so windy here today. 
that like sand keeps blowing in my mouth and everything. So the menu's amazing, isn't it? Um, I'm just going for some sort of. It's called a, a deep sophia or something. I'm, I'm going to pronounce that wrong. So excuse me, anyone that speaks very good Mexican. Uh, so I'm going for that. And uh, what are you getting? I'm going Miguel's delight. He's getting Miguel's delight. And uh, it sounds gorgeous. And I've got some tamales on the side. Oh, I've only had them once before, but my goodness. I reckon these are going to be good tamales. It's got a lovely atmosphere in here and really nice staff, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, here's my stuffed beef thing it, uh, that I can't pronounce. It looks amazing. Gosh, Gary's got a gorgeous one, Miguel's Delight. And he's got one of these Sophia's. It's like a puffed bread thing. That's what mine is, but it's got meat in it. What does yours taste like, babes? Mm, it's amazing. We're really happy with this, aren't we? Yeah, we really stay, recommend this place. I've stayed in New Mexico a long time, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what, like parked outside this restaurant? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've just left the awesome Jerry's, which we really highly recommend. There's a massive cowboy here, and there's one here. <laughs> We're just going to get in the van now because it's so windy. Back on Route 66 in Gallup. El Rancho Hotel. Now this one was very popular um, in the sort of 40s and 50s with film stars. They stayed along here. It's still going so you can stay there. Even Gallop and the scenery is amazing. We're on the 66 here and the 40s just there to the right hand side. Can you guess where we are? Grants, New Mexico. How fantastic is this? We've also got the Fire and Ice Park straight over the road, the park to look around. You can see this beautiful sunset as we're heading towards Albuquerque. We're 13 miles out from destination. Look at that. We managed to find a brilliant boondocking spot just outside the Petroglyph Park. They do close the gate off at night, but it was perfect for a one-nighter. So we've been in the States for seven months now, traveling around in our UK registered motorhome. And we're now, at, we're at a crossroads. We've got two months left to go and we're like, what should we do? So Gary, what have we decided? <laughs> so today we're going to go around and look at some of the RV dealers in Albuquerque, where we are at the moment, to see what's on the market. Because one of our options is actually to buy one over here, register it here, and then just come back and forth visiting it. So I've just taken a right old tumble down the bloody stairs and twisted my knee. I tell you what, these are high to get in and out of. You'd, I'd need more railing, Gary. Hey everyone. So we've been in Tucumcari for about 10 days now, haven't we babes? Uh, yes. Hold up in a motel room. Gosh, I've not been able to walk. It's been a bloody nightmare since I took a tumble out of an RV at Camping World. Not that they care. Anyways, that's another story. So what we're doing is we're heading to Amarillo today. Unfortunately, I still can't walk properly. Um, so we're going to be doing minimum bits and pieces, aren't we? Yeah. And uh, actually, there's a sign here, Route 66 sign. And I saw it on Facebook or something. And I thought, oh, I must go and see that. And somebody had said they didn't realise until they took the picture that there was a tarantula right behind them so there's tarantulas here so i you know i'm not being funny i'll, I'll jump out of my skin if i see a tarantula so here in vega they have this um windmill blade with a nice route 66 mural on the side and you can see how big it is i mean it's huge because compared to the van at the end there, <laughs> it's, it's massive. And on this one, you can actually walk inside. So you can actually see. So all of those have ever wondered what the inside of a windmill blade is like, then, uh, then this is what it's like. Steps here. Come out of the sun. And wow. So it's fiberglass. It looks like it's made of fiberglass. All the way down there with that curve in the roof in the roof. Hey, so we're back on the Route 66 now today. We've spent a couple of days in the Ashmore Inn and Suites, but we're just about to set off and Gary can't close the uh, engine bonnet. Not really quite sure why. 
Um, obviously, my knee's been quite bad. So uh, we, we decided we were going to stay in a hotel for about five nights and they had a swimming pool. So I was able to do some sort of hydrotherapy in the pool and try and get it better. I can walk on it a little bit, but not very long unaided. So I'm still using crutches a lot, but it is a lot better than it was. But this is this is going to be a long, long recovery. I think it's going to be another couple of weeks. Gary's finally managed to shut the bonnet. What was wrong with it? So it got so cold last night and there was a bit of rain as well. So the rain's got into all the mechanism, obviously iced in. Yeah. And it just needed a bit of manipulation to break up the ice that was in there. And now it's all right. So That's how cold it is. It's, it's freezing. Cold. We're in Amarillo. So we're going to we're gonna do a quick stop before we head on our way. We're going to go and see the Cadillac Ranch. <laughs> just arriving at the Cadillac Ranch. And look, there's just loads of graffiti all over the road as well. And on the bins. So there it is, it's just over here. Oh, it's really wobbly. Gary's gonna try and take us as close as possible because yeah, I can walk up there with my crutches. So here it is, the Cadillac Ranch. It's um, everybody's sort of leaving their mark on it. It's brilliant, it's really iconic. And you can see how far it is from the road. You'll see the motorhome there. So this is the longest walk I've done in a couple of weeks, actually. Here's Ganksy. Right, so, so, so Ganksy, what are you putting up there? Right, undercut, and I'm going to put um, a new life in the van. Yeah, new life in the van. I'm going to put YT on there as well. Okay, on short for YouTube. Not much, not much in there, I hope, it, I hope it lasts. Yeah, it'll be just a new. <laughs> oh no, this that's not going to fit. Oh, it might. <laughs> oh, it's got layers upon layers you i mean you can you can physically see how thick it is oh you've done it although it oh dear it looks like hate mail a new life in the van <laughs> that that will that'll ensure we get no more new subscribers <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's brilliant, darling. So we are, which one are we? We're the third Cadillac in, aren't we? Oh, we are. We are. So I just want to do something a little bit else. So if you do come this way, everyone, take a picture of it and um, tag us in. We're on Facebook. So, you know, tag us in on Facebook if you do see it. Because it's probably going to get painted over anyway very soon. But if it doesn't, well, that would be great. Oh, Gary's doing something else. I'm not sure what he's doing. Oh, oh, it's a bit of a surprise. And I'm obviously, I'm on my crutches, so it's not so easy. Going to do the reveal. What have you done? G and J. G and J. <laughs> love heart. Oh, you are romantic, you. <laughs> Oh, Come on, Ganksy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't paint over the love heart. But yeah. please take a picture of you here. down from the Cadillac Ranch and you've got the Second Amendment cowboy. It's brilliant. Look how massive it is. And they've got some old beautiful Cadillacs out here. Look at that powder blue one there, Gary. My favourite colour. Coming next time, someone kisses the Blarney Stone. We're in Tulsa and we're also inside a giant whale.